Good day. Thank you for joining me for another Atari 8-bit gameplay video. I've got queued up here for you a game that I discovered after my recent run of uh, Space Invaders games. I was just browsing, browsing uh, games, looking for things to uh, make videos on, anything that struck my interest, and uh, I saw this, fired it up, and was pleasantly surprised to see that it seems to be quite a faithful arcade version. Now it's this is converted from the Apple II platform, I believe. Or 2E or 2 Plus, 2E maybe. Anyway, um, there's a couple of slightly unfortunate things. I'm guessing that the number of display lines didn't match properly. Um, <clears throat> the call the number of columns. So every I haven't tried to count, but every uh, well maybe I will count two, four six eight looks like every eight lines there's an extra vertical line which which the programmers have maybe because it was a difficult thing to do they they've chosen to basically just leave it as a as a uh, black vertical line but it stays in the same place so anyway let's have a go no background sound effects okay well if you remember the apples which you probably don't but uh, i do they didn't have much capability out of the box for sound. Whoop! It was basically just a little, um, I don't even know if a speaker is the right word, it was more of a, more of a buzzer or a clicker kind of a thing. I think if, 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 um, if it was, uh, sort of a, agitated at the right frequency, it could make sort of beepy noises, but uh, as you can hear here, it's just sort of staticky explosion sounds, I guess, and a sort of a clicking, high-pitched clicking when the UFO comes across. So this game, though, it, it's pretty true to the arcade. The aspect ratio is probably a little bit flattened out, but um, the invaders are spot on. Their shots are squiggly, the explosions are basically the same as the arcade. The, uh, the shields are there, the bunkers, whatever you want to call them. And um, yeah, so other than sound effects, this plays really nicely. Shooting mechanic, I think, is also right on. Right on the money see what happens as I get down to the last few. Oh yes. That's also <laughs> pretty accurate where he's very fast in one direction and fast but not quite as fast in the other. A uh, little animation on the side there that's kind of cute. You can also, hey, you can also hit their shots with your shot which is... Hey, I, I'm pretty sure I got that shot. Anyway. Anyway, Apple Invader. Who knew? I did. Um, I did try this with artifacting of various combinations, video artifacting, thinking that might make it look a little better. But uh, in my opinion, it, it really doesn't. Um, the original game was monochrome, although it had color, um, basically plexiglass with different colors on it in. Rose. I think the top where the alien is was red, and the the uh, base and ship maybe were green, if I remember right. I may not have that right, but it was sort of a, it was an artificial effect, um, just overlaying the screen with a, a colored plexiglass. Oh no! Do I still? Oh, I still have a. I still have one base. I think. Did I get an extra one? I'm not sure. I feel like I used my three. Although being a home game, it might be set to be a little more forgiving. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Game over. Apple Invader. Mystery 302010. Yeah, this is this is right on. Even this even this screen, I believe, is 
very similar to the arcade. Obviously, it didn't have an Apple logo or say Apple Invader, but um, there you have it. Apple Invader. Is there any other game modes? Probably not. Okay, well, that's about as exciting as it gets. It's uh, so far, this is probably the best uh, Atari uh, conversion of a game, or in this case, a conversion of an Apple game, but it's um, quite true to the arcade experience, which is great to see. I always felt that uh, it should be doable, um, so seeing this is quite interesting. I mean, obviously, it could be done natively, but to my knowledge, it never was. So uh, anyway, if, if, if you know differently, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll check it out. In the meanwhile, if I come across any other Invaders games, I'll, I'll try them and make a video. So that's going to be it for today. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time.